Yeah. Lead the way. Okay, we are um we're finding a wounded animal or something, right? We are still in Alpine. Just got done. Tier left. He said, fuck this. I don't want to do this anymore. And he dipped. But we stayed behind. We should be able to reach the barons up top. Once we find a way past this hive matter. I remember these things. <laughs> Definitely dark elf territory. <laughs> What? Did... God... Why did... Why did we do that? They just put Father, it there because... Letting it us know? Is to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. Um, no. Isn't it not? Or we would have killed Freya by now. Hail, fellow travelers. Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is... stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. Stuff some cloth in your ears to keep the sand out. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Sand is so thick that... <clears throat> um... Gets in your ears. An upgrade for the Leviathan Axe is available. Whoa. What the hell? Is he going to let us ride that? Mm. Ooh, nature liker. Uh, two golems sit in front of this marker that says unnatural. They tied to, they're tied to a sled and completely calm. Strange. How long have they sat here? They're just as well behaved as Specky and Svana. What are these animals? Gulon, native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. Huh. Someone trained them to pull a sled. Lucky for us. Domesticated <laughs> Gulon. Most unusual. All right, where the hell are we going? Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings. A tempting treasure huh. chest. Damn the sand. So I'm guessing that the sand lets up at some point. I guess he is. This cave extends underneath the desert. Is the creature within? Yeah, sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. Great. God damn. 
I see, I see, I see, I see. Uh, 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 uh. That's not gonna work, is it? Bronze tier complete. Hmm. Well, that's going to hit something. Okay, so it just bounces off. Oh. Oh, oh. God damn, that's so dope. Come on. All right, buddy. Yeah, you got him, kid. You know, now that I know more about the Dark Elves, I wish we didn't have to fight them. They attack us. Well, this is their home. And considering what happened the last time we were in Alfarm, can you really blame them? All right. What is this fucking gypsy magic? What's going on here? It's gotta go. Kick this down. Hello. The fuck? What is this? Patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader. I don't think I don't see you, bitch. Let's go. The creature you heard. What does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just... Feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's in a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? I am curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> mm, do I need to get on that side first? How in the fuck am I gonna do this? There we go. <laughs> Well, I can't throw my... What in the fuck? Why? How does that angle even work? Little bastards. 
Oh shit, I didn't see that other. Uh oh. Uh, wait, can we open this? Okay. Where's the last one? Just aiming at these things. Oh, wait a minute. This is... Okay, so we got that door open. We know where two of the bells are. And I don't see a third. Mm. Sorry, Atreus. I don't see a third bell anywhere. We went up and over. Came through here. I got nothing. Let's focus on this. Can I get it from here? I've never been this interested before. When I talk to animals or enchanted rings or whatever. Much has changed for both of us. Kratos well, gives a fuck. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why you've helped some random animals. Is this not what you want? No, no, it, it is. I'm just surprised it's what you want, too. He doesn't want it. He just wants to spend time with his goddamn son. <sighs> Gonna make me fucking choke up over this shit. Hey, there's the third bell. Alright, how are we gonna do this? Okay, so if I did... Bomb. I race over here. I hit... Did it. Aha! Oh, I need one more. All right, let's go. about this. You bitch. Are you sure we're doing the right thing? If you wish to abandon this creature, we will leave. Well, no. I don't want to abandon it. 
But if we have to kill a bunch of Dark Elves to get there... I remember a young lad whom, until this very moment, would take on an army of Draugr to save a wounded animal. But these aren't undead Draugr. They're Elves. I just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes. Getting involved where we shouldn't. Well, we won't know until we get there, you know. It's the, uh... Through here. It's a great I thing think. about life. You never fucking know until it's over. Okay. Is this the way we're supposed to go? What's down there? Gonna get it from this angle, I guess. But I can get it from this one. Oh. Things are so fucking annoying. Damn. Uh. It's just, why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alphine, we wind up hurting Dark Elves? We are down here to help the creature you heard. I know that. But I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. Okay. Just wants to hang out with his son, dude. Is that such a crime? this way. We the uh, fucking... It has to work like this, right? I just need a different angle. There we go. What the fuck? I don't know how that worked, but... Fuck. What is it? Great Gethune's ghost! That's the largest bloody half goof I've ever laid eyes on! It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. 
It's the song of the sands. You don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Lunch. We'll get you out. Involving ourselves again, what are we? That name? Well, the last good thing we saw was dinner, so... Lunch. Oh, boy. While I appreciate the attempt at humor, that little brother is truly awful wordplay. <laughs> Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, can't all be winners. All right, how the fuck are we going to do this? There's got to be a way to clear those rocks. Get a better angle. What the fuck? Get that. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. How are we gonna get that angle? Can I? Looks like it can move now, but it still can't get out. Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. From the surface? Did they trap it on purpose to create this sandstorm? Why did they trap it down here? Hafkafas are known to burrow, so I hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the dark elves. Any more than the light belongs to the light elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the light elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. So, by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Then let us free it. It's all kind of... Relative. No getting around it, I guess. Gotta do one to do the other. The whispering slab. Shoulder straps of radiance. Okay. Somewhere off this way, right? Oh no. What in the fuck? Shit. 
No! God damn it. Come on. Bitch. Give him what for. Holy shit. Look here. Okay. Collect this shit and fucking get out of here. What's that? A diagram. For a sword hilt. Perhaps we should show it to one of the dwarves. They'll know what to do with it. God damn. Level four wrist armor. Oh, where the hell are we going? Okay, okay, okay. It flies? Of course it flies. It's a half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye. Perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered? He just wants to spend time with you, lad. While he still can. <sighs> really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. Dude. I don't know what to say. Thank you for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. Bro, if I, oh my god. <clears throat> if I was a parent, I would be setting down the controller right now and just fucking sobbing. Holy shit. I got tears in my eyes. Ugh. Oh, god damn. <sighs> okay. Let's get, uh... Let's get back to the tree. Do you ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on then. Namir, how many stories have you told about Odin and Thor? And all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. The other people they've hurt. Let's see. Okay. There was Thamor, the stonemason. Aye. He quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him. Found Thor instead. I remember that. And there was Thamor's son, Grimthar. Who built the walls of Asgard. And whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. You can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body, and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Though admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir God's dream. What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best. But not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. Oh, I know. There was Skavi, the Queen of the Hunt. Aye, 
She spurned Odin's affections, so he tricked her into killing her father. There was Starkather the Mighty, the Jotnar military leader. Slandered by Odin, tricked and murdered by Thor. And there was Thrym the Cunning. Jesus Christ, so many. Who stole Thor's hammer. Odin traded him Freya to get it back, then sent Thor in disguise to murder his entire court. Who else? Ah, Grung near the Brawler, the stone giant. Aye, mocked by Odin, murdered by Thor. Enough of this. But there's more. I do not care. War with Odin is not the answer. Got it. Looks like your axe is due for some attention. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Alright, sorry about all that. It's time to go back. So these are unlocked. It's not like I only had to choose one. Why is this... Niflheim. The eyes of Odin. Why is this pulsating like that? I want to know. Soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim. Those were Einherjar? I thought Einherjar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. <laughs> oh, sorry. Niflheim. I do not remember Niflheim. Wasn't this place like was Niflheim the volcano place or no? Do we have to be here? Creeping me out all these Ooh. poor bastards with their souls cut up. Uh, bro, what do you think about fate? I don't. Either your life's all written down somewhere or it ain't. Still feels like you're making choices either way. The shit smells the same regardless of how I got shat. Remind me to write that down. <laughs> okay. Wait, are those Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. Well, uh, let me... Go to the map and track this. Free are we, free of the Father. Our half lives now belong to no other. What do you think that means? I don't know, but there's definitely something more going on here. Look at all these chests. Can I just open them? No, they're locked. 38. They're all goals. 48. Here's one that's open. Girdle. I can't read them. They seem to like us, though. One hopes. I suppose we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens when we find them. We need 48 of them to get all of them open. Alright, well. I guess that's what this place is good for. It's over here. Challenge? something over here. Ah, a memory of war. You could use this as a training arena if you like. 
You'll just be fighting the recollections of enemies. They won't be able to harm you. There is no XP or hack silver gain in the arena. Well, that's not super cool. I don't know. I like training along the way, you know, learn by experience. Expanded my wares. If you got the raw materials to make them. Yeah, I would, but I'm not. We just did all our shit with Sindri, so. Oh my god. Uh, what is this waste armor? Whoa. Ugh. Damn. That's kind of cool. But I think I like the purple more. Yeah, I think I like the purple more. It's so fucking bright. Well, I hope Tears had enough time to find his equilibrium or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in him, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giant saw tier leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. Also, in the early God of War series, uh, they predicted that somebody with Kratos' markings would come and kill uh, Zeus. And guess what happened? Question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it? Okay, hopefully I remember to cut this out, but I'm Master going to... Kratos, I would speak with you. I'm going to blow the fuck out of my nose while they're talking. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not... <laughs> I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? <laughs> a magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Anyhow, was there something else you wish to talk about? I have a question. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young Master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neithhog. Neithhog? That's the mother? Correct! She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neatho chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neatho is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... familiar. <sighs> Should I have anything else for you, you'll be the first to know. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, that's it. Yeah, that's it. We're done. <laughs> Go away now. All right, Tyr. Let's see what you've been up to. Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. Glad you're in a better mood. Yes. I was a little overwhelmed before. Forgive me. It's funny. Nothing seems to settle my mind quite like cooking. Being locked up for so long, you forget how much joy lives in the little things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're disappointed in me. I never said that. You're kind. Dress. Eat. Oh, careful. Careful. 
Thank you. Mm. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. We'll see about that. Here you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. Huh? I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. Uh, didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. A word that clouds your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jodenheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. <laughs> but I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? Got him. I am counting on you. To be safe. To be smart. But Use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that you... Oh, Atreus. My son. And nothing more. Do you hear me? I'm not hungry anymore. <sighs> Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. You really should eat. Some people swear by it on almost a daily basis. <laughs> I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Ugh! Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. <laughs> I do too. Get out of here, Heidi. Already gone. Got some insanely big hands for a kid of his size. <laughs> 